I've just about finished all the painting. It's come up real nice, I think. Uh, just using a roller brush, a little brush. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'll show you what paint it is. This is the stuff I've been using. So that's the gloss. It's a coach enamel paint. And oh, the primer was this Rapid Guard. It's like an etch primer. Um, I've actually gone through nearly two of those and only about three quarters of that for the whole van. And I think they're roughly £50 for five litres, so not bad at all. I've got some uh, silver hammerite uh, to touch up some of the trims because they're a bit old and tired. You can see stuff like that. But overall, for a 33 year old van, there's a few bits to tidy up. And obviously, I need to clean off, you know, clean off and stuff. You see where the last people have painted it as well, where well, it was blue. But I need to clean off some of the trims and stuff and clean up the wing mirrors and things. But yeah. So, just a few jobs left to do. The electrician's been out and he's connected the DC DC charger. Um, but I need to clip that down properly but there's the cable for it going all the way in to the van I'll show you so what we got is I got waited for the 40 amp I went for the 40 amp one Renology which is now there as you can see uh, which works when we put the ignition on and starts charging our lithium battery so I've got a bit of tidying up to do in here it's a bit of a yeah, a bit of a nest at the moment, but I'll still tidy up some wires. Uh, I do need to do little things like clip the fuse back, things like that. I need to get under the van, make sure all the cables and everything are clipped up as well. Um, I'm going to put a shelf in there, tidy up, like I said. I'm going to put a shelf in here as well. I need to get on the fix that door. Uh, I need to get on the roof and make sure all the uh, solar panels are down. All these things. We're so close now to getting out. On the road it's a bit of a mess at the moment but i'll do a proper van tour later we need to sort out obviously macy's bed i say macy's bed our granddaughter it's uh our, the overcab bed is where she's probably going to sleep she probably won't she'll probably just end up with us, with us but when she stays over but yeah there's loads of mess loads of mess <laughs> to sort out uh, but when mrs h is back later we can start finishing off all the little bits. There's really not much left to do. And then it's getting on the road. I'm really nervous because I've only driven it like 16 miles. And it's massive. But anyway, uh, that'd make a fun video, wouldn't it? Good morning, Treacles. Right, today we're going to clean this mess up. Look at the state of it everywhere. And do some things in the kitchen. I've got some things to put up. But big job today is this. I'm going to put this security camera up. Um, it's a bullet too, got it from B&Q, they're 40 quid, looks alright, I'm going to give it a try, and uh, yeah, show you where I'm putting it. I'm going to see if I can put it up here, nice and high, uh, pointing down the side of the van, uh, covering the habitation door, and hopefully the passenger door, uh, and if all goes well, I will put one the other side as well, maybe one on the back. Um, well, let's see how we go with this. I'm going to put it up there because it needs to be plugged in. Let's open this up and show you this thing. Um, this is come, it's on a plug like that. Nice long lead, which is cool. And this is the camera. Um, it's waterproof, obviously. It's for outdoors. Uh, connects to the cloud. It's got it's got an SD card slot as well. It's got night vision and all that. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah but what it's going to do is i'm going to plug it in here probably or i could plug it in the electric cupboard but we'll see how long the lead is so i'm gonna have to drill a hole somewhere up there and then bring the plug down to a socket somewhere either there or or under here i could plug it in up there somewhere yeah we'll see
So there you have it. Lovely jubbly, come through the roof, put it through some trunking, all sealed up. All around the light as well. The light, the camera. That's got lights on it though. This is the sealant I used. I used it on the uh, Max Air fan as well. Brilliant stuff, you can get through it. Then you can use it in all weathers, which is awesome. State of my gun. Yeah. Don't let your gun get in that state, kids.